Welcome back. You're here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, May 13, 2021. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos, and we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And uh, yes, the market got exactly what it wanted today. It got inflation numbers that were really bad, and that, of course, had significant effects on most of the markets, also this market, as the US dollar uh, basically shut up. Um, it was up not roughly 0.70%, which is uh, quite substantial, but it's still uh, underneath the 20 exponential moving average. So it's heading towards a resistant, and whether or not it gets through that or not, that is to be seen. But it definitely had a major impact on these currency pairs that we are going to look at. So if this is going to continue, or this is um, if there's a trend change, I don't think so. I think most cases, both for indices, stocks, and so on, there was just um, an excuse in the market in order to to basically pull back or rally and so on. So because the market, for example, in this currency pair, you can see it was very very overstretched, and you just needed some kind of bad news in order for this to pull back towards support so if you look at this you see that yesterday we had this very negative uh, candlestick here we did fall today roughly uh, roughly 0 0.35 percent and will most likely continue falling towards support which is probably down here at the 20 exponential moving average so in the middle of the bullish band and that's a, a continuation of drop here of roughly 0 0.84 percent to the downside probably lower than that we could drop all the way down to the 100 moving average and the 50 moving and the uh, 50 moving average that is to be seen however we had a really nice run to the upside and we need basically a pullback if you look at technical indicators we can see that the stochastic is crossing the signal line becoming bearish the cci is turning around becoming bearish the rsi is becoming bearish well, the MACD is still very bullish, but it is flattening and usually it takes some time before it basically goes and crosses the signal line. So we could expect this to continue um, dropping towards support, something similar to what we saw over here. So let's look at the US dollar Japanese yen. And of course, this completely shot up to the air as the US dollar appreciated and we basically crossed this uh, upper resistant line. And we basically close above this resistance line. So we could be heading towards the previous highs here of 110. And so that's 1.12% to the upside. We are getting fairly overstretched. We are basically at the top of the bullish band here. And we're also on the edge of being overbought. So casting has turned around, becoming bullish. MACD is bullish. RSI is bullish. And so is the CCI just underneath 100 and it's also bullish. So at this point, it looks like we are going to head towards 110. If we pull back from here, then the 40, 20, and the 50 exponential moving average have been support, and this previous resistance line will most likely also act as support. So let's look at the US uh, euro, US dollar, very similar here. We got very overstretched. It did have a rally of roughly 1.44%, and now we basically fall, have fallen towards support. If we fall further from here, we will mostly fall towards the previous lows of 1199 which is basically down here as also at the bottom of the bullish band. If you look at technical indicators, they are all turning, turning around. MACD is crossing the signal line, become bearish. RSI is bearish, CCI has become bearish, and so is the stochastic also becoming bearish. So momentum is definitely to the downside. To the upside, if we manage to break above this resistance line again, which is uh, fairly unlikely at this current stage, then we'll probably go significantly higher, but that is, we probably have to build momentum in order to do that. So, Aussie US dollar, this got absolutely trashed and has been absolutely trashed the last trading day. So we had this very negative candlestick here three days ago, and now we're basically dropping towards support at the 100 moving average. There's probably a lot of more room to the downside. We could drop towards the bottom of the bullish band that is just above the 150 moving average. So we'll probably see the same trend for Thursday as we have been seeing for Wednesday. So same for indices, stocks, and so on. We'll probably have a, another day where things will drop until it basically stabilizes. Um, it is That is most likely what is going to happen here. If we break the 150 moving average, then we'll drop it to the 20, uh, 200 moving average and probably also 300 moving average. 
but 150 has been holding significantly uh, in the past we have not even managed to break through it um, at any point so so until we get to that point um, it will be considered as basically the floor of this market Technical ind indicators otherwise are very negative indeed so let's look at a us dollar can japan and uh, canadian dollar and as you can see we did fall and then we rallied so this is a very bullish candlestick we are in a basically massive downtrend it have been for a really long time we have tested the bottom of this market and at this point we could uh, witness a rally up towards the 20 exponential uh, the 40 exponential uh, probably the very highest here as well technical indicators are all turning around they're still in bearish territory but we are significantly over oversold and we're also significantly overstretched here so a pullback back was has been anticipated for a fairly long time now this can take some time as you can see here this basically took nearly a month until it basically broke towards the downside but anticipation was basically that this would break to the downside so hope you find it helpful you're welcome to support our channel by subscribing hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos and good luck and thank you very much Thank you.